GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. Uh, my name is Samuel Gatti of Rockview, Kenya. Keep watching GH Dog TV. My name is Solo One, you can call me the dog blogger and this is GH Dog TV on number one dog TV for all dog lovers. If this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another exclusive and amazing dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at GH Dog Blogger and then you log on to our official website at www.ghdogblogger.com. This program is proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Puppy Milk. You want the right dog feed to help build your dog with the right nutritional content. Trust me, just link up with them. Eminent Dog Feed 0244-820-350. 0244-820-350. Just give them a call now. I know what you love and that's why i'm bringing it to you right here today i'm at a kennel and even before i start up to introduce my guest for today's show and mention the name of this kennel i want you to check out this big fella right here check him out check him out check him out yeah 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 today i'm at a kennel so without wasting much of your time let's go for a quick break we'll be back shortly my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger Welcome back to the show. Just as I told you today, I'm at a kennel and the name of this kennel is Hallmark Boabos. Hallmark Boabos. And this kennel is located in the Ashanti region, Kumase. And the exact location is on the Agric in Zema Road, Kromwase New Site. Kromwase New Site. I'm right here to get up close with the boss man. We'll check out the beautiful dogs right here. And trust me, we'll drop his contact as well. I know what you want. I know there are a lot of people who are looking out for some dogs for mating they're looking out for puppies there are lots of people that want to be educated trust me today you're going to get all of these in one package so now let me introduce my guest for today's show boss welcome to the show thank you i think it's, it's great meeting you once again and it's nice meeting you too yes i think the last time we met was at the boabo show last year it's at uh it was at park and you you came there with two boabos two females one has been sold to nigeria to daffy dogs big shout outs to daffy dogs nigeria is doing an excellent he's a great breed i've been following him on social media all the time okay um but so let me start from this part why the name hallmark boabos okay um the name came out of the fact that you know everything that has hallmark on it means that uh it's it's kind of genuine and it's kind of quality all right um i wanted to do quality stuffs so um i chose the name hallmark because i wanted something different something of quality so my uh, my motto is breeding quality dogs hallmark bubbles breeding quality dogs that is why i chose the name hallmark this is beautiful before we we, we get to that part where we get to know why you bred boa bulls and stuff let me start from the general point of view just as i always do how did you become a dog lover um right from infancy uh, i have loved dogs i had this mongrel the local dogs as we call them um, i had a female before i went to school that's way back 2007 uh, in russia so when i was going i left the mongrel with my parents. They were taking good care of the mongrel. After three years there, I called my mom, and then she's like, she's no more. I asked why. She said uh, one of our friends, family friends, came there close to the dog. The dog gave birth, and then decided that he wants to give it to these people. 
So the guys who the dogs, but you know, the 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 connection wasn't there with the puppies. So my dad decided that okay, let me just get rid of all the puppies. So he just got rid of them. So after I came back home after school, that's 2013. I still love dogs, so I wanted to have one close to me. So I spoke to one of my friends. Uh, his name is Kojo, a pharmacist. He's the chief executive of Kobjo Pharmacy at Bwedi. So he sold uh, an American bulldog to me. I wanted a male actually, but then he said I should go in for a female uh, because he feels that uh, currently breeding it's it's something you can also add to what you do. But I was like, I don't even have the time to do all that. But so I still want the male. I insisted that I keep the female. So I got the female, and then that is how the whole thing started. This um, you're talking about 2013. Okay, okay. So let me ask um. What, what was it with the American Bulldog? Because there are lots of dog breeds, right? This. So what was it about the American Bulldogs? What What I read about the American Bulldogs are they are aggressive, but they are very loyal and very protective of their owners, and then they love kids as well. So for that reason, I would always want a dog that would be able to play around kids and not get aggressive towards kids. So that was my main reason for taking the uh, the AM bull that time. Nice one. So after getting that American bulldog, um, did you get another American bulldog again? Oh, after I got yes, after that bulldog that died, I got a puppy, an American bulldog puppy, and then uh, a bull mastiff puppy as well. So I had the two. They were going nicely. I named one Queen, and then I named another one. Uh, what was the name? And I named another one Queenstar. Yes, yes. So I had the two of them. One day when I came back from work, uh, that's 2015. When I came back from work, they were not eating. And then I was like, oh, it's normal. They will eat. So I decided that I'll just watch them for another day. Then the very next morning, I had to rush to work, and I was doing like 15 hours of work. So. I left the food for them. When I came back, the food I left was still there untouched. So I became alarmed and then I picked them to the vet. When I went there, it was already late. They were, they started pooing and then they started vomiting as well. So all they said was Pabu. So they started treating Pabu. I wouldn't want to share the name of where I went to, but the experience wasn't good. You know, um, on a normal day, infusion is supposed to be given at a rate over a period of time. But here's a case, they gave an infusion within 45 minutes or less. They are done with one. Then probably they just want you to move on and then bring in another one, which is not the right thing. So they passed on. So I went for a uh, postmortem at uh, the vet, at the government vet at KTI. And then I was told that uh, it was rather pneumonia they had and it wasn't problem. So from there, I just, my parents was like, were like, oh, then you have to put a hold on all these dogs' issues. So I just put a pause on it. And then I met one guy. We started sharing ideas. He had a dog. And then he was like, okay, uh, we can do a partnership. So he brought his male dogs to me. And I was taking care of the male dogs. Basically, that is how I got the 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 young bull died, the puppy died, and then the guy brought in uh, a bobo, not a full breed though, but it was good looking, a female. The name was Tiger. So basically, we started doing that. So I got another young bull, but she also died. Mm. That was when um, you got to, you got introduced to Boabo. Yes. Um, with the story of the Boabo, as I said, the guy brought in the Boabo. Uh, the female came on heat. And then the guy suggested that we should go to Kofoidia to go for mating. So we drove all the way from Kumasi to Kofoidia to go do a mating. When I reached there, wow. From afar, I asked the guy, ah, is that a Neapolitan? Because the Boabo was huge. The name of the Boabo was Tylo. It's dead. Late. It was for one shaibu in Kofoidia. So from there, I just fell in love with the Bobo. So I started reading about the Bobos as well. 
they almost have the same traits as the AM bull. And then they are from our part of the world. So why not go into the bubble this time around? So that is how I entered into the bubble. I know, I know since you saw Tyler, right? And you were attracted to Tyler, I'm sure somebody is also a new person as a potential dog lover and that person is going to see Simba and he's also going to fall for <laughs> Boa Boos as well but then what did you see about Tylo that really got you attracted you know here I wouldn't want to talk about Accra because I don't stay in Accra what I realize is every dog even if a boom is stiff and then uh, the mouth becomes a little bit elongated small they call it a bubble so it's like you i lost interest in that thing because what you see on the internet and then what you see around are not the same but when i saw tylo and i asked about tylo he said he imported tylo straight from south africa and then he showed me another female a very beautiful female from south africa so so from there i saw that ah okay and uh the original bubbles around so i need to look for those ones that was when you got to know about the pedigree and all, all those stuff yes from there i started learning about pedigrees though because you know uh, here in ghana people people will say every dog is a pedigree but that is not true a pedigree is a dog all right that uh, comes from the same the same breed all right but they are registered to an organization that is recognized all right and then they have papers that are birth notified so if you have an imported dog even with a pedigree paper another one with a pedigree paper and then you made them and you are not able to provide the paper for the puppies the puppies are not pedigree puppies they are full breed so people are like pedigree 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 so i told them no that is not what pedigree is about pedigree is being part of an organization who would provide you documentation for your dog that is what a pedigree is so i had to go in for a pedigree so i subscribed to uh, subs enthusiasts a Facebook page only uh, from the SAPS people. Somebody is watching, and the person SAPS is new for the person. SAPS is the South African Boa Boo Breeders Society. Yes, that's the full name. That's, the, that's right. So, the very day they approved that I could be part of the group, I saw Simba. Simba was like three and a half months. And then he was posted there. The owner was like, due to cancellation, he's available. Immediately I saw Simba, I got attracted to Simba. I just told the person that I want Simba. So we spoke and she's like, where are you? I told her I'm in Ghana. And she's like, okay, then let me give you somebody's number. That's uh, the agent who would help you transport your dog to Ghana. So he gave me TJ, TJ's number. So I spoke to TJ and then I transferred the money to TJ to them. And then TJ also brought the dog. When Simba was coming, he was about five months. And right now, soon, it will be three years in August. That's 21st of August, exactly. Simba will be three years. So after Tylo, you got Simba. Lovely viewers, check out Simba right here. Such a big, beautiful boy. Wow, 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 wow. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Lovely viewers the conversation is getting interesting getting up close with the boss of hallmark boobos the boss of hallmark boobos his name is mr kofi senior right here and let me remind you that if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel you kindly subscribe to our channel to always be notified whenever we drop another exclusive and amazing dog content we visit kennels give you updates on dog breeds we, we we do a whole lot of things so if you are a dog lover or even if you're not a dog lover kindly subscribe to our channel to always be updated whenever we upload 
another exclusive dog content and this program is proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and puppy milk you want the right dog feed for your dogs to help them link up 0244-820-350 call eminent dog feed now 0244-820-350 so i have the boss man right here and we are we are still having um a wonderful conversation very soon we are going to check out all of the dogs right here my favorite power we get to know their names and everything so um boss um how has your experience with boa bulls been i know maybe somebody is watching the person wants to get a boa bull can you tell us something about the boa bull um there are breeds that needs a lot of attention um if you leave them alone they'll be very destructive that's the truth so they need a lot of attention you need to be directed on what to do and what not to do right from so that when you speak to them they'll be able to understand you know uh, Simba for instance if if he's doing something and then I call his name Simba at a higher voice he knows that what he's doing I don't really like it so with a very high tone Simba will stop whatever he's doing because he knows that I don't like it so if you do not have much time to spend with your bobo I wouldn't I wouldn't advise you to really go in for bubble because they need attention. If not, they'll be very destructive. Very, very destructive. Like they are also perfect guard dogs as well because very perfect. They 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 will protect their family and then their properties with their lives. They will always be on the fire line for you. So if if you want a protective dog as well. I would recommend that you go in for the bubbles. And then one other aspect of it is it's it's our own from South Africa. Yeah. The conditions slightly different but almost the same. Yeah. So we get to be able to keep them well without them without we losing them just like the other breeds. Same and quiet. Just like the other breeds. So um if you want I would let me use the word doable. If you want a bubble dog, maybe you can go in for bubble, but they need attention. So you need to give them a lot of attention. Since they are also from Africa, do they adapt easily to our weather here? Very, very, very easily. Just that they, or every dog doesn't like heat. That's just the truth. No matter where they are coming from, they don't like heat. So you need to have a very cool environment for them during the hot weather. Even because um, a male, a male for instance, if it becomes so used to heat, they are going to be more or less sterile. They might not be able to produce puppies for you because the sperms will become very weak because of the sun. So I advise that if you get it, you have to have some cool as well to be able to keep, especially your males, so their sperms wouldn't be weak. Because even in humans, uh, if 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 the the testicles gets a lot of heat, the sperms gets to die, and then they become very weak. So it will apply to animals as well. Yes. So you need to keep them at a very cool place. One thing I also love about the boa bulls is how they look like. It seems they have this intimidating look where if even if an intruder is to come into your house and they see them like Simba for instance. For instance, he has some look. He has some look. You know, he's got this yellow eyes like that. So he's got this look. If 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 he looks at you like that, and that look is from uh the the the, the grandparent. He's from the line of Rambo and then Alpha. One was a 2016 champion and then the other one was 2017 champion in South Africa. Rambo passed on last year when the owner also passed on. So he, he, he has that kind of pedigree, a very good pedigree line. They are huge and then intimidating pedigree behind them. So his pedigree has a lot of huge, huge dogs in it. So that is why you see Samba to be a very huge dog. Yes. Let me ask you this question as well. Um, for somebody who is a first-time dog owner, would you recommend the person to get a boa bull? Um, like I said, uh, the person would only have to be commanding, would have to have time. 
these are the two most important things you have to be dedicated and then command them because if you don't lead the pack they will lead you that's how babos are if you don't teach them what to do they will teach you what to do yes so if one if you don't have time and if you know you cannot command the dogs then you don't go close to them you don't go close to babos at all maybe you get uh, a poodle and then <laughs> And uh, you enjoy the company of your puddle, but yeah. to go in for Bobo, no, I wouldn't advise. You need a time, mm-hmm. dedication, and being a leader of the pack. These are the three important things that you need to be a Bobo owner. And I mean, when I say Bobo, I mean the real Bobo. Nice one, nice one, nice one. But then, um, since you have Bobos all around here, do you intend to pick up other breeds as well? Would you consider getting another breed? Um, it's, it's, if I should even consider, it will still be the AMBO, the American Bulldog. Aside the American Bulldog? No, I don't have. Okay, so you don't fancy any other dog breed aside the Bobo and the American? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. I, okay. I don't fancy any. I, I see some and I admire them, but to own them, no. Sometimes I see some of the uh, Boomer Steves and I admire them a lot, but I wouldn't love to own any of them apart from the bobo and then the ambo nice one nice one nice one lovely viewers i'm sure you're learning a whole lot of things right here i'm with the boss of hallmark boobos hallmark boobos he says he doesn't fancy any other dog with aside the bobo and the american bulldog boss and we're about to wrap up the whole interview and stuff but then let me ask you this question there are most people who are out there who are young chaps they look up to you the dog breeders they want to be like you someday um, can you share us can you share with us some of the challenges you face as, as dog breeders because when most people actually see the dogs wow they're beautiful they don't really know what really goes into it so can you share some of the challenges okay um it's 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 a lot of it's it's a lot into your finances that's that's one thing if you want to do and do it well you understand if you want to do and do it well, uh, you have to spend money. Because um, Simba, for instance, uh, at a point in time, he was taking like 25 pieces of the chicken back. Wow. And that in turn, he might have to finish one box in like two or three days. And so if you should put all this thing into play, um, it, would, it would eat into your pocket. But then, once you love what you are doing, once you are dedicated, you don't care. Sometimes you don't even have money in your pocket, but you would want you would have to feed your dog anyhow. So wherever you have to get the money to feed your dog, you have to feed your dog. And then again, sometimes you need one or two supplements to boost them up, right? To make their skin, their coats look very shiny, very nice. To make them have this huge, huge. Uh, to make them not have issues with their hips and bones and all that. So, and then one thing I've realized is this. Um, most people come into it because of just the financial gains. But that should not be your main motive. That should never be your main motive. Fine, the finance, financial gain is a good aspect of it. But that should not be your motive for wanting to have the dogs. Because I've seen people starve their dogs but they want them to give birth for them that's very bad so one you need to be a little bit financially sound to own the dog not only bubbles because sometimes i see some dogs and i cry because of how they are how the owners are keeping them you know people go and then they kind of go for uh, leftovers to feed their dogs um, the truth is that these dogs, they don't like too much salt, alright? Um, that, that might account for many of the sickness that these dogs have. To be very frank and fair with you, he's been here getting to two years and some change. But then I have never visited a vet. Not for once. Not for once. If I go to the vet then, I'm going to give the annual anti-baby shot. That is it. So if you feed right, and if you give the right supplements, uh, 
going to the vet would also reduce a little bit for us. That would also help us save a little bit of money. So, before you go in, one, half time, two, there should be a little bit of dedication, a dedication in terms of everything. Because like I told you, sometimes you, you don't have money, but your dog should eat. So you have to find the money, feed your dog, and then you stop. So that is a little advice I would give anybody who would want to go into it. Nice one, lovely viewers. That's the boss man of Hallmark, Boa Boost right there. We've really had a wonderful conversation. He has really shared a lot of information right here. I know this is where you're waiting for, where he has to drop his contacts and everything, boss. Uh, boss, just in case somebody wants to link up with you, check you out on social media, contact you. I'm sure somebody has seen Simba. He wants to use Simba for mating and stuff like that. I'd like you to drop your number, your social media handles, and then you can drop your final words as well. Okay. Um, if you go to Instagram, that's same home at Bubbles. That's the name on Instagram. And then if you go to Facebook too, the same home at Bubbles. And then the number is 0541-201-544 or 020-186-3033. Lovely viewers, he just dropped out his contact. So just give him a call right there. You want to link up with him. You want some advice. You want to check up, update if he has some puppies available. You want to just link up anything anything just link up with the boss my boss would you like to share your final words or something of that sort um final words is i would want to thank you for coming by um it's been a nice experience when i first met you in accra and then once you told me you are in kumasa and you want to come by i was like why not because uh, it was nice talking to you because i also follow you and then I watch most of your videos. I think I started watching with that little guy, that 14 year old boy who had the mongrels. Yes, that is when I started following you. So I've also been watching you and uh, you seem to be updating and then educating us as well. So what I would say is thank you for passing by. And then again, like I said, anybody who wants to breed and I mean breed or even keep a dog should 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 love the dog and then should be dedicated not just buy for buying sake and then just keep the dogs anyhow sometimes some of us who love them when we see them our, our hearts really cry when we see some of them you know sometimes I saw this Chinese people killing dogs here and there and then I cried it was very sad so please and please, everyone watching, if you're a breeder or a dog lover, please love your dogs. Just have time for them. Sometimes you need to play with them because they need that affection as well. So that will be my final words. Lovely viewers, that's the boss man right there. Now we get to my favorite part. This is where we check out the dogs. We check out the dogs, my favorite part. But then, Mr. Kofi Senya, thanks for giving us the opportunity to come and check out your dogs and visit you and share this important information as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, lovely viewers, let's go check it out. But then, if you haven't followed us on all of our social media handles, go on Facebook, Instagram, GH Dog Blogger, GH Dog Blogger on Facebook, Instagram. And in case you also want to link up with GH Dog TV, our number is on the screen 055 055-328-4056. 055-328-4056. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. We get to my favorite part. We check out the dogs. Okay, so we are right here with Simba. Boss, can you tell us something about Simba? Um, Simba will soon be three years, somewhere in August. And then he was appraised uh, almost two years ago at 85.6. Uh, 
um the he was born to he's from jamba Keno in south africa yeah western cape to be precise and then he was born to elevation cooper and then um media post emily so that's just a little bit about simba yeah. why did you name simba um you know simba looks more like a lion so immediately i saw him even as a puppy i just saw that he looks like a lion so why don't i take after the name simba because of the lion king yeah. so what do you like about simba as well simba is very affectionate friendly but very intimidating that is what i love about him you might see him to be friendly but uh, sometimes you can't really predict him so um and he's very protective as well so i love him for all those traits if you was that a simba right there let's check out simba 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 right there Right, and what about our lovely friend here as well? Um, this is Rugby Piper. She delivered not long ago. That is why you might see her to be very lean. She's just right now trying to pick up. Uh, her puppies are four, four weeks and some few days. So we're hoping to build her up very soon. The sire of the puppies is Simba. Simba, yes. Um, we, 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 she was mated to Simba. You know that Simba is just the uh, the rock of Hallmark, so uh, he she was just mated to Simba, and then they delivered some nice puppies. Right now, there are three males and then two females. Yes, nice one, lovely. But that's Rock View Piper. And what about you? What, what do you like about Rock View Piper? Rock View Piper, it's a very calm dog, as you can see. She's also friendly. You know, I like the friendly nature about the dogs. All right. That's one thing I really love about them. They're not, they are protective but not aggressive. So that makes them super dogs. Nice one, lovely viewers. That's Rockview Piper right there. Rockview Piper. It's Mr. Senyan, what about our lovely friend here too? This one is Hashtag Velvet. Okay, I think I've met with Velvet before. Yes, uh, she's the one you met with. Uh, hashtag uh, Venus. The one I sold to Daffy uh, in Nigeria. And how, how old is she now? Um, she will be three in November. Yeah. And what do you like, what like about Hashtag um... Velvet has trust issues though, but she's still a very lovely dog. You know, with me, she plays with me. And all that she has trust issues because uh, one of her mates was shot in the kennel where she was sleeping with back in South Africa so from there she really has trust issues it takes a lot of a lot of time before she gets to really get closer to other people check out hashtag velvet right there hashtag velvet Okay, boss, and what about our lovely friend here as well? This is Hallmark Survivor. This is our very first registered dog under our kennel name. Um, there were a little of three, and then all of them died. So that is where the name Survivor came from. Um, Hallmark Survivor. And how old, how old is she? She's five months and... Today is 11th, right? So she's five months and then nine days. Wow, 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 wow. Lovely viewers. Check out, check out. Hallmark Survivor right there. Five months old. She's the last of the dogs right here. Yes, she's the last of the dogs currently with me. The rest are still in South Africa. Yet to come to Ghana. Nice one, nice one, nice one, lovely viewers. This is where we are bringing today's episode to an end. But then, boys, before... We wrap up again. I want you to drop your contact again. The the number is zero five four one two zero one five four four. 
020-186-3033. And then on Instagram, it's Hallmark Bubbles. And then on Facebook, it's Hallmark Bubbles. Nice one, lovely viewer. He has dropped all of the details, the contact and everything. I've made him drop it again. So just give him a call right away. So this is where we bring today's episode to an end. Today we visited Hallmark Bubbles. The location is Kromwasi New Site on the Agri Kenzomara Road in Kumase, Ashanti region in Ghana to be precise. Today we visited Hallmark Bubbles and I'm sure you loved this episode. This program was proudly brought to you by Eminent Dog Feed and Puppy Milk. You want the right dog feed for your dogs to help them grow. Pick their number on our screen 0244-820-350. 0244-820-350. Maybe you want to link up with GH Dog TV. Pick the number on our screen 055-328-4056. 055-328-4056. And then you follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at GH dog blogger now this is where we bring today's episode to an end my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time